Hello all. In this video, I'm going to show you practically how to run your first Python program on Windows. So before starting, I would like to tell you that Python programs can be executed in two different modes. It means you can either run your Python programs in an interactive mode, or you can run your Python programs using script mode. Now you might ask me when to run your programs using interactive mode and when to run your Python programs using script mode, isn't it? Now, let me tell you the difference between interactive mode and script mode, and then show you how to practically run your Python programs using both these modes. Okay, so let me start with an interactive mode. If you have a single line of Python code or a single block of Python code, which you need to execute for testing purposes, then you may actually run your Python programs in an interactive mode. Whereas if you have multiple lines of Python code or multiple blocks of Python code, which are actually uh, a part of a very serious Python application, then you can run those Python programs or you can execute those Python programs in a script mode. So if you want to run Python programs in a script mode, then it is very much important and it is very much mandatory that you have to save all those Python code in a file with an extension .py. Okay, so you must write all those lines of code in a file that ends with a .py extension and then give it to the Python interpreter to compile and run your code. So that is the requirement for, you know, if you want to run your Python code in script mode, right? So this is the difference between your interactive mode and script mode. So uh, having a final word on this, interactive mode is generally used when you want to test certain small pieces of code. And later, if you feel that it is working, only then you can actually put that into the script where your actual application uh, you know, is stored, right? You can make it part of your main application and then you can run that actual application in the script mode. So basically interactive modes are uh, interactive mode of uh, executing Python code is used by programmers for testing purposes, right? Now, having said that, now where do we execute Python code, isn't it? So Python code can be executed either using a tool called as idle or you can execute your Python programs on Windows command prompt, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you both like how to run your Python programs on idle as well as how to run your Python programs using your Windows command prompt, right? Now you might be wondering what do you mean by idle, right? I-D-L-E. It stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. And this is a software that comes along with your Python installation. It means if you have installed Python on your computer, then it is, um, you know, it is, I'm sure that you would actually have idle on your uh, uh, computer. Now I would show you how to uh, invoke your idle and how to actually start executing your Python programs on idle as well as command prompt. Okay, so let's get started. So first I would show you how to run your Python programs uh, using interactive mode as well as script mode on idle. And then I would show you how to execute your Python programs using interactive mode as well as script mode using Windows command prompt, right? So now first let me get into idle. If you want to invoke your idle, you will have to just come to your start option over here, Windows start option, as you can see on the left-hand side corner, bottom corner, you must click on that start button. Okay, start option. So you will get all the list of installed applications that are there on your computer. Okay, now search for Python software, which comes under the letter P. Okay, so where you can see over here, yes, I have got the letter P over here. All I So this has all the applications which starts with the letter P. I can see I have installed Python 3.9. I click on that and I get this, you know, almost four uh, options under this Python 3.9 folder. So I will click on the first option which says idle Python 3.964 bit. When I click that, I get an, uh, you know, editor, which will, it's, which is called as an idle editor. It's basically a shell, which gives me a command line where I can actually give, uh, you know, the Python instructions for execution purposes in an interactive mode. Right. So list first, I will show you how to run the Python commands or Python code in an interactive mode. Later, I will show you how to actually run your Python code in script mode, both using idle. Right. So as you can see, I'm working on the idle shell. It says, okay, it says idle shell 3.9.1. So I'm on idle shell and executing the code in an interactive mode. Right. Now, this is the command prompt, which where you can see three greater than symbol is a command uh, line. Okay, where I can actually issue commands to the interpreter. So my first command is storing a, uh, you know, 10 into a, I'll say a is equal to 10. Then I would say b is equal to 10. Then I would say c is equal to 10. 
okay and then i want to add all these i would say sum is equal to a plus b plus c okay and if i want to make sure that the sum contains the addition of a b and c i would just say okay sum i would just say sum and say an enter key and i get the output as 30 as you can notice okay this is an interactive mode of running python code where i have written 1 2 3 4 four lines of code okay and i finally tried to print the value of sum and i've got this output right these are all command you know uh, commands or these are instructions written in python right so this is basically an uh, interactive mode of executing python programs this is one way right so the second way is that i will have to write these code whatever i've written whatever statements i wrote just now in an interactive mode i will have to pick up all these statements and put together into a file that has an extension with .py Okay, so how do I do that using idle software is like this, right? So on the top, you can see the file option over here, right? I would click on that and it gives me an option called as new file. I'll click on new file, okay? And whatever statements I wrote in Python to execute, you know, Python code in an interactive mode, the same set of statements, I would actually group it into a file by saying A is equal to 10, B is equal to 10, C is equal to 10. And I would say sum is equal to a plus b plus c right and then i would use a print function of python to print those right but as i told I, this is an editor okay where i've written the code but the thing is that if i want to execute in script mode i will have to save this in a file with a dot py extension so how do i save it again click on the file option right so you will have an option to save it as okay so i call it as save as I'll click on that and now it gives me an option says saying that we, we, it, it is asking me where should i actually save this file I click on desktop because I want my Python file to be saved on desktop. Okay. And I want to give it a name. So I will just call it as my first Python program or something like that. Okay. And then I don't want to give my .py for now because idle has already identified my file as Python file and therefore .py extension would be automatically inserted when I actually save it. Right. So I'm going to save this now. And as you can see that, you know, the my first Python program.py has been saved as a Python file, as .py extension under users Subhash K OneDrive desktop. It means my Python program is there on the desktop. So to just to cross verify, let me go there and check. I'll go to my desktop. And yes, as you can see on my desktop, I have my first Python program saved over here, right? So now I'm going to execute this file in script mode. Okay, so to execute this in script mode, okay, I come back to my idle, okay, where I had actually written this uh, program. And there is an again an option called as run. I click on run and then say run module. When I say run module, okay, as you can see, okay, the my program which was under users Subhash K OneDrive desktop, okay, called as my first Python program dot py got executed, okay, and then I got my output as thirty. Okay, so this method of executing Python code is called a script mode, right? Earlier, before to executing this Python uh, program in you know in the script mode, I executed it in an interactive mode and as you can see the difference in an interactive mode i had uh, you know i had uh, uh, no reason to save it in a particular file or i didn't wanted to save it in a file okay there was no need for me to save these statements in a uh, any kind of file whereas in script mode i had to save it i had to save all these instructions in a file called as my first python program.py and then i just said run module and it started executing the interpreter started executing my uh, set of instructions that I had written in this particular file. So these are the two ways of executing Python programs. Okay, one is using interactive mode, the other one is script mode using idle software, right? Whatever I showed you now was interactive mode, uh, interactive mode of executing Python code and uh, uh, script mode of executing Python code, okay, using idle software, right? So I also told you here that you can also execute your Python programs in both the modes using Windows command prompt. Right. So I'm going to show you that first now, and then we will proceed, uh, you know, then we'll wind up the lesson. Right. Now, how do I execute this in Windows command prompt? How do I execute Python programs using Windows command prompt? For that, you'll have to come to the search bar over here and type CMD, which is, you know, which it means that you are trying to invoke the command prompt. Right. I just uh, click on the enter key. Okay. So it opens my command prompt. As you can see, it opens my command prompt. So now if suppose I want to execute my Python program, I want to execute Python code in an interactive mode, 
then you will have to invoke a tool okay invoke the python interpreter in an interactive mode for that i use you know the tool called as py with an option of minus 3 which indicates that i am running a python 3 version okay so i just say enter key and you can see that i got a command line okay so the interpreter has been invoked and i've got a command line where i can start giving python commands okay so the same thing i would do a is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 and you know c is equal to 10 and then say sum is equal to a plus a plus b plus c and then i try to print the value of sum it gives me 30 right so this is an interactive mode of executing python programs using windows command prompt right this is one method right now i want to actually run python programs in script mode using windows command prompt that is the second thing right so let me come out of this let me comment off for this. Now, as you can see, I've just come out of the uh, uh, interactive mode of uh, execution, executing Python programs. And now I am back to my Windows command prompt, right? So what is the next thing that I have to do? I have to execute my Python program in script mode. So to execute my Python program in script mode, I will have to first have my program written in a script, isn't it? So we remember that earlier while executing my Python program in uh, idle, using idle software, we had saved the file on our desktop, isn't it? So let me go and check if it is there. Okay, so that we'll make use of the same file. Yes, it is there, right? And this file is there on my desktop. So therefore I would make use of this same file. I'm not going to rewrite this once again. Okay, but I should make sure that, you know, I'll have to come to the desktop when I'm in command prompt. Currently, I am in the folder users Subash. Okay, I'll have to come to command prompt to access this particular, I mean, I have to come to the desktop to access this particular file. So let me use the command CD. Okay, CD OneDrive cd desktop right so as you can see now i now my current directory is desktop i'm on my desktop right now i want to see if my file is there just to cross verify so i would say dir command which will give me the list of files that are there on my desktop okay so i'm just checking if my my first program python program.py exists or not yes as you can see it is there over here right now my next job is to execute this uh, you know program in script mode for that i use the tool py minus three and then use this name of the file i just give this file to the tool which this pi minus three is a tool which will invoke the python uh, interpreter which where that python interpreter would compile and execute the code and give us the output right so now i click on the enter key and as you can see i've got my output as 30 right so now i've executed my python code in a script mode by invoking a tool called spy giving it an option minus three which internally will invoke the python interpreter to compile and run my code right so this is the um, uh, script mode. this is the script mode of executing python code right so i think now you are pretty much clear okay so the first time i showed you how to run your python code in an interactive mode as well as in a script mode using idle software then i also showed you how to run your python code uh, python uh, how to execute your python code in an interactive mode as well as in script mode using windows command prompt Right. So uh, you can use either of these ways to actually uh, run your Python code. So hope you clearly understood what I'm trying to tell you in this, what I try to you know, tell you in this video. Hope you understood how to execute your Python programs. Right. So I'll also try to make one more video so that, you know, to show you how to run your Python programs on Linux operating system as well as Mac OS. Okay. So until then, uh, take care. Bye-bye. Meet you in the next video. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.